We are just hours away from calling him president, but tonight Donald Trump was sounding more like a Borscht Belt entertainer as he gave a brief speech to a Republican group of heavy hitters at Washington's Union Station. They predicted that this would be the greatest loss in political history. And I'll tell you one thing, I outworked everybody. I think I outworked anybody who ever ran for office. I learned that from Belichick, right? Oh, the president-elect was what some would call his usual bombastic self, but he was also sharing the love, predicting his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, his soon-to-be special advisor, could solve something no one else has been able to. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can, okay? All my life, I've been hearing that's the toughest deal in the world to make. Trump followed that up with high praise for his campaign mastermind, Kellyanne Conway, the only person he actually brought on stage. When my men are petrified to go on a certain network, I say, Kellyanne, would you do it? Absolutely, no problem. Then she gets on and she just destroys them. So anyway, thank you, baby. Thank you. How about this? We all know Trump is a voracious tweeter. He apparently found time to do so at dinner. Thank you for joining us at the Lincoln Memorial tonight. A very special evening. Together, we are going to make America great again. Now, that line will likely show up again tomorrow in his inaugural address. He wouldn't say what else would be in that speech, but he did say he would be making it rain or shine. If it really pours, that's okay, because people will realize it's my real hair, and that's okay. It's okay. Might be a mess, but they're going to see that it's my real hair. Trump also couldn't resist a jab at his usual punching bag, the media, for their response to his speech earlier this evening to his faithful, who turned up for the pre-inauguration concert. I thought it was a very good speech. And so instead of saying it was a good speech, they're saying, doesn't matter tonight, how will he do tomorrow? They never give you credit. Trump and his family enjoyed the performance by Toby Keith and others from behind heavy glass. Many performers, though, of course, had turned down the request to play tonight. It has been a busy final day for Trump as president-elect. It started with he and his wife being greeted at a military base just outside of Washington. He was then off to one of his first official events, laying a wreath at Arlington National Cemetery, a long-standing tradition to honor the country's veterans. Well, as for tomorrow, the big day, security will be tight. There are 28,000 security personnel and police officers on duty. They'll be keeping an eye on the estimated 900,000 spectators expected to flood the Capitol. It is likely, though, a quarter million of them could be protesters. Police plan to keep supporters and demonstrators apart. Well, it looks like the protesters got into town tonight. Demonstrators apparently started a small fire and reportedly set off a smoke device outside the National Press Club in Washington, and police say there have been several arrests. And while star power was lacking at Trump's pre-inauguration concert, there was plenty to be found at an anti-Trump rally in New York City, a collection of celebrities coming together to demonstrate against the incoming president, where some took a stand against his anti-immigrant comments. Unless you are Native American, your family is also from somewhere else. We are a nation of immigrants. We move forward, not in protesting Trump, but in protecting our people, protecting our values, and recreating the Democratic Party as a party that's responsive to the people. The thing that will help us, that will get us through this, is anger, because otherwise we'll be in sadness and depression.